1976 Volkswagen T2, 1.6 is a petrol engine on the manual gearbox. In all fairness to it as well, it fires straight in the knife this this morning. It was freezing last year, last night here. Uh, and this morning, turned the ignition on, gave it two pumps of throttle, and it fired straight into life. Pop top as well, it's had a clamp of hand conversion. So body weight wise, we're gonna start off the front, not the bonnet, but I'll start off at the nose there. We're gonna work our way around the outside, have a look at the bodywork, and then we're gonna jump on the interior, have a good look around there, and then we'll fire the 1600cc into life. Across the front, all nice and straight underneath the windscreen, the two tone lines all nice and crisp all the way across. A little bit of corrosion, sort of rust stains there just underneath the wiper arms. But again, it wants a good polish because it is a little bit flat, but it's just a little bit faded in places. Nice and tidy down the front end there. The white bumpers are all good. I've got a scratch there, like a touching scratch on the front nose. But apart from that, it's all nice and presentable across the front. We'll need to reuse, we'll need to go camping, in, that's for sure. Lovely and straight down both sides, this one. Bit of paint flake and corrosion to a very, very small amount of surface on the lower half there on the right hand side around the door nice and tidy around the door a little bit of paint flake across the bottom as you come down the bottom there's a few little bubbles of rust just starting up here on that right hand side front door again two tone lines lovely and crisp all the way down across the middle section here again nice and straight but just want to polish in places sills all still orange no nasty black stone guard lines there but a little bit of paint flake to that on the sill there and a bit of paint flake in the seams with light corrosion a few little bubbles at the back section there on the right hand side. Top half all good around the windows, nice and tidy. Again, a few little bits of touch in there. Got a little bit of surface rust coming through, but not bad at all across the top half there. With it being that sort of grey, creamy, do notice the corrosion. And a few little bits across the, uh, the top there. And there's a pop top as well. Rear arch and quarter, nice and tidy. No corrosion coming through that and see there. Across the arch itself, there's one or two little stone chip bubbles. But we'll have one a little bit starting on the lower half at the back there on the right hand side. Around the fuel filler cap's good and around this seems all okay with a little bit of paint flake. But nice and level down that right hand side there. Onto the rear now. Lights are all okay. Bumper's all alright as well. A little bit of surface starting on the bumper, but these VWs get away with many sort of different levels of restoration and corrosion and bits and pieces and patina as it was but all nice and tidy across the back there four exhausts as well which is pretty cool lights are all good no corrosion around the lights or anything like that nice and straight across the the top hatch as well i want a little bit of bubbling here on the roof above the right hand side corner of the rear window and a few more bits across the top there we'll have got some cracking in the pig sort of like a marble effect across the roof there quite like that I don't think somebody's done it on purpose, but it looks pretty good. Down the left-hand side rear quarter, nice and tidy again across the arch. We'll come round here, a little bit starting on the inside of the arch, but it's all nice and solid all the way across. Had a bit of a paint crack on the bottom lower half of the rear quarter on the left-hand side. Rest of the quarter's all nice and straight. Side and door's all good around the around the channel there's all okay. All nice and tidy down that sliding door with a few little bubbles coming through on the lower half there i'll show you that sill section as well again a little bit of surface starting in the rain channel on the top onto the left hand side front door a little bit of bubbling there on the door but not too bad a little bit more at the front it is right hand drive as well the uk van this one interior wise we're going to start off at the front it's had plenty of money spent in here it's really nice and tidy on the seat door card lovely and tidy no rips or tears, you'll see we've got some big speaker pods there. You took the plastic off, did you, James? Yeah, the seat was still in plastic. Lovely cloth, re-trimmed, really orange and white. Driver's seat, no rips or tears. Steering wheel's nice, dashboard's all painted correctly. Headlining's all good, got a big flip-down TV there. That'll make up the headlining there, but a big flip-down TV mounted there. Seats are lovely. Had some money spent on speakers, that's for sure. Again, matching big speaker pods, all orange colour code on the left hand side. Door card again, nice and tidy across the cloth. Dashboard's good. Your double seat there is loving straight across there. Nice carpet set fitted in the front as well. In the rear, you've got your plugs there, chest of drawers, another big sub box, all properly 
retrim that. That's some money's worth of retrim in here. You can see all the door cards are done to match. That sub box and seat is done to match. Another bench seat there, all done to match. All the right colours. You've got speakers underneath that, folds down into a bed. Nice and tidy across the top there. You can see your pop top there. There's a few little rips in the back of the pop top. But chances are, are you actually going to use the pop top? You've got the fold down TV there as well, which I have had down before. I pressed the button and that came down. All nice and tidy with the wood floor. Like I say, some money's worth of cloth retrim in there, that's for sure. Into the rear section. It's got seat belts. It has got seat belts in the rear as well. Obviously, your spare wheel's there and that sits down. All folds down again, all retrimmed correctly into the bed. So all nice and tidy there. See, this had some money's worth of retrim in there, isn't it? Okay. Right, we all know that uh, interior works fortunes these days. Into the engine bay now, it's a 1600cc petrol. James has just given it a couple of pumps, you saw that there. Sounds good out those exhausts. That's how simple this fire's in the life. There you have it, the T2 Volkswagen Camper, lovely matched interior there, engine sounds lovely on that one as well, 76 in the year.